Now, in springboarding into the next part of the discussion, coming off of the background on the five civilized tribes, we're going to be talk going back to the American Civil War 30 years later and how the Oklahoma Territory played a role in the Civil War. Now, when hostilities broke out in 1861, the United States had hoped that the five civilized tribes would, quite frankly, stay out of it. And the tribes initially proclaimed their neutrality and not wanting to get involved in what was deemed by most of them, rightfully so, as the white man's war. They didn't want to get involved. But uh, Richmond actually saw that there was resources and supplies in the Oklahoma Territory that they desperately needed and they could not produce on their own. So they sent delegates to the Oklahoma Territory to begin working with the Indian tribe leaders to try to persuade them to join the Confederacy. Now, initially, the five civilized tribes were not so thrilled with this uh, with this notion because well, there's only one generation apart where these people were the exact same ones who had evicted them violently from their tribal lands in the American South. So they were a little reluctant to trust them. But at the same time, they were offering them something that they'd never had before. They were basically what was with the Confederacy, and this had nothing to do with slavery. Yes, there was a 1% of the population of the Oklahoma Territory natives who didn't own slaves, but the decision to join with the Confederacy really had nothing to do with this, with the slavery issue. What it was is they were being offered for the first time what Richmond offered to all of its states, home rule. Let the individual states decide what they were going to do and how they were going to do it. And let them and have the federal government pretty much stay out of their business, which is something that tr the tribes had not had since the uh, arrival of the European settlers. And another thing that the Confederacy offered the five civilized tribes that had not been offered to them by the United States government was they allowed them right out the gate to have representation in the Confederate Congress. Representation, representatives from all civilized tribes were welcomed into the Confederate Congress. So they were given more of a chance to really control their own destiny. And so that was one of, those were some of the main reasons why the main body of the five civilized tribes chose to throw their hat in with the Confederacy. However, with the Confederacy's loss, it is believed by many that what would soon happen with the Oklahoma land grab, particularly the, the Sooners, was done as a punishment to the five civilized tribes for their siding with the Confederacy during the Civil War. So the 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 land was going to be taken at one point or another but with the outtake of the civil war with the with the end of the civil war happening the way it did it was simply justification in the in the eyes of Washington for their siding with the confederacy so there you go